Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the other subcellular organelle peroxisomes. So, talking about peroxisomes, there are diverse group of organelles which are found in eukaryotic cell. In most human cells, they range from less than 100 to more than 1000 per cell. Okay, and the main function of peroxisomes is like to fight with the free radicals. Okay, and to talk about the composition of peroxisome, it is made up of single membrane as like uh, lysosome. Okay, and the contents main present here is urate oxidase. Okay, the marker enzyme for peroxisome is urate oxidase. Peroxisomes they involved in metabolism of free oxygen radicals and also used in synthesis of cholesterol and ether lipids. Right. So as I mentioned, cholesterol will be synthesizing in the liver. Okay, and in liver cells especially liver is also made up of cells right hepatic cells and inside the hepatic cell peroxisome will be there so in peroxisomes the cholesterol and other lipids will be synthesizing so bile acid formation so bile acids what for bile acids right these bile acids are uh, required for emulsification of fat food okay that means lipid the food which is rich of lipids they require bile acids for emulsification so without emulsification it is difficult to digest lipid food and catabolism of long chain fatty acids so if you see the chemistry of lipids there are different types of fatty acids based on the number of carbons based on the chain length so same way chain length the number of carbons ranges from 4 to 5 small chain fatty acid if it is up to 12 it is medium chain more than 12 long chain right so like this small chain medium chain long chain so this medium chain and the small chain will be catabolized inside uh, what to say mitochondria but in case of long chain fatty acids peroxisomes are the correct or optional subcellular organelle where this metabolism takes place so otherwise catabolism of purines prostaglandins leukotrienes so if you see prostaglandins leukotrienes they are also lipid in nature purines they are the basis in making of nucleotides and in other way nucleotides required for making dna and rna and alcohol detoxification in liver so you are all aware liver is a site for detoxification and this function mainly attributed by peroxisomes and metabolism of estradiol so why peroxisomes are named so because they play unique role in lipid metabolism okay peroxisomes they play major role or unique role in hydrogen peroxide metabolism they contain enzymes that use molecular oxygen to remove hydrogen atoms from specific substrate. If you see here, so there is oxygen, okay, and this is a molecule. So after giving its hydrogen to oxygen, so it will be converted to hydrogen peroxide. And this hydrogen peroxide is used up for detoxification. So I mean not detoxification, it has to be detoxified. Okay, hydrogen peroxide. Otherwise, what it will do? It will keep on producing hydrogen peroxide. So, more of oxygen will be produced inside the cell, which is burden and causes premature death of the cell. So, there are enzymes like catalase. So, remember, like acid phosphatase for lysosomes, catalase is the enzyme is acting as a marker for peroxisomes. So, this catalase is a inside cell antioxidant. Okay, this is enzyme. So, there are uh, non enzymatic antioxidants enzymatic oxidants so for enzymatic oxidants the example you can give is catalase and this catalase which is present in peroxome convert the hydrogen peroxide to water you see here the hydrogen peroxide okay which will be converted to water and oxygen again so this way it will stop the activity of oxidant inside the cell clinical significance like peroxisomal biogenesis disorders like deficiency of peroxisomal matrix okay that means the proteins which are present in peroxisomal matrix, the deficiency, it, their deficiency leads to adrenoleukodystrophy, ALD. So, ALD is mainly because of the proteins deficient in peroxisomal matrix. Okay. Or else this adrenoleukodystrophy otherwise known as Brown-Shelders disease. Okay. Remember, Brown-Shelders disease or adrenoleukodystrophy which is characterized by degeneration of liver and kidney and brain okay progressive degeneration of liver kidney and brain it is autosomal recessive that means it is hereditary in nature 
okay it is autosomal recessive hereditary in nature the defect is due to insufficient oxidation of very long chain fatty acids by peroxisome that means if these long chain fatty acids cannot be degraded they start accumulating into the peroxisome okay and they cause disturbance to the functioning of the cells and these peroxisomes mainly present in like liver cells right so the liver other liver not only detoxification they do have other functions so other functions of liver will be affected so the accumulation of long chain fatty acids cause the adrenoleukodystrophy and other thing is the other peroxisomal disorder that is zellweger syndrome here okay the proteins are not transported into peroxisomes that means the transport membrane that means the layer the present like uh, peroxisomal membrane layer okay which is not permitting any outside proteins to enter inside so that means there is a deficient in the transporter there is a deficient in the transporter this leads to the formation of empty peroxisomes or peroxisomal ghost cells actually it should be it should be stuffed with proteins and long chain fatty acids so in case of gelbiger syndrome the membrane of peroxisomes will not allowing any proteins or substance to enter inside the peroxisomes so what happens it is like house with uh, like uh, no person living okay so if you built a house some people has to be reside inside right otherwise if the people are not residing what you say in uh, our villages or like in cities abandoned buildings will be there okay people will not be staying over there so what you say bhut bangalas so same way peroxisomes also without the contents they are known as ghost cells inside the uh, cell primary hyperoxaluria so this is related to defective peroxisomal metabolism of glycosylate derived from glycine so glycine is a amino acid so it do have a metabolism inside the body okay when it is degrading okay there is a defective of an enzyme which is present in peroxisomes okay which is causing primary hyperoxaluria okay primary hyperoxaluria so that's all about peroxisomes thank you